Hello everybody, my name is Will and welcome back to another video on Sprocket and today we're going to be building an armoured car to take on the entirety, or all but no man's land, of this game's scenarios. Now, this armoured car, therefore, must do a couple of things as far as my understanding goes. It's going to have to be quick. Number one, that is probably the single most important factor of this armoured car because it cannot have a particular large amount of armor being an armored car. Once you put on a particularly large amount of armor, you're simply not going to be able to keep up that weight with puny rubber tires, and it's not going to be good enough off-road to be acceptable, so therefore you just move over to tracks. And for another point, it needs to have a gun good enough to go through at least the side of the enemies. Now, in theory, the speed should mitigate the need to go through the front of the enemies, so we can kind of half our penetration that we would normally have, maybe a little bit less than half. We're probably looking where you would normally expect 120 millimeters of penetration to be considered good. 80. Like three quarters, two thirds kind of territory of that original number. Now, um... I do have a shorts tutorial on how to remove the tracks because I know there's already a number of you who've left a comment saying, how do I remove the tracks on my vehicle? There's a tutorial for that. I'm not going to run you through that right now because it's a little bit of a process, but not so long that I couldn't cover it in 60 seconds. So that will be in the shorts tab of my channel if you want to know how to do that. Anyway, uh, this thing broke the game pretty badly a couple of times. So I, full disclosure, I am recording this after playing this vehicle through the game and uh yeah it, it breaks once during building and it breaks once during the actual run uh, real bad both times so uh you're gonna see both of those and the first one is coming up in not too far in the future uh, about a minute uh, and you'll see that one but uh yeah it's it's an odd one i don't really know why this broke everything so badly i was doing a fair bit of file editing, so presumably that has something to do with it, but other than that, I don't think I was doing anything particularly strange. Hiding the tracks is a fairly standard, and I think even dev-supported change that you can do to your files, so I, I don't know. Who cares? The game will soon be updating to a completely different method of building anyway, so what does it even matter? But uh, yeah, <laughs> overall, I really like armored cars. They're, they're such an interesting design kind of choice um they have their applications obviously and they they could be built in much larger numbers than tanks because of their ease of construction and the chassis being a lot simpler you don't have the tracks and they're easier to maintain blah 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 and it ended up being the case that a lot of these things were built but they don't get a lot of recognition because they don't have the i, I feel like the phrase sex appeal is the wrong word here but you, you know what i mean they don't have that 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 element that tanks do but anyway talking about it it breaking uh, here you go here's my little test of this vehicle uh, i wonder how well it works oh no not very well uh but you know that's uh, uh, okay no that's not fine at all uh yeah yeah no that yeah it broke quite badly uh we <laughs> One short fix later, which those of you from the Discord may have seen, uh, we do eventually get to the point where we can put a turret on this thing because it isn't launching itself into space uh, every single time you try and take it for a drive. And that is now, there we go, it's working. We're fine. We saved it. I really thought I'd lost the video there, to be entirely honest. <laughs> And I wouldn't have particularly liked that because I was already good 15 minutes into the build and I quite like the look of it, to be entirely honest. Um, yeah, I mean, it's a small armoured car. So my main inspiration while I was building this thing was the Humber Mark II. Uh, and I haven't even touched over the fact we have the whole building segment here, by the way. We're, we're watching the whole thing uh, today. Sh uh, changing course. We'll see how it works. Uh, if you like it, let me know. If you don't like it, D don't let me know, I don't know, uh, that'll hurt my feelings. Um, but uh, there should be uh, chapters on this video, so you can skip easier to the combat if that's what you want to watch, or you can skip to the outro if you want to watch that, I guess. Uh, and I'll probably split up each battle into when they're playing. It's going to take me a little while, but you know, I can work it out, I'm sure. Uh, and hopefully that will help in your experience of my content, and therefore you will give me a like. Yes, you will like the video now if you're enjoying it. Yeah, okay, you done that? 
good. Anyway, yes, these armored cars tend to tended to pack much lighter weapons than the equivalent tanks of the era, so you can kind of expect these things to be rocking in World War II a a 20 millimeter auto cannon for particularly light ones for a little bit of a heavier armored car you might be looking at a 37 and on the very upper end of the scale a 45 or a 50 millimeter cannon you're really not going to be thinking much bigger than that there are a couple of examples of ones with 57 70, 75 76 millimeter guns but for the most part it just wasn't hugely practical to mount that on an armored car when you could just mount it on a tank or tow it around with a truck and use it as an emplacement. These armored cars, they needed to be fast, they needed to be light, and they couldn't be particularly large in order for them to serve the purpose that they were meant to. So, as you can see, there are a couple of reasons there why you would have a smaller gun. And they're not really meant to take on tanks at the end of the day, so having that smaller gun wasn't too much of a downside as well. And so therefore, I've gone with a 47mm on this because we are going to be fighting tanks. So we're on the upper end of firepower for one of these things, but also I think on the upper end of weight. So, there you go. Swings and roundabouts, isn't it? But uh, she's pretty much done here. We do a little bit more decorating and a little bit more tweaking uh, off camera before we actually played this thing because I was watching qualifying for F1. But uh, yeah, uh, we will head back to the gameplay now. Okay, so here we are in ambush. Now, uh, we have a couple of things going for us here. So for one thing, we have a pretty nice gun. This 47mm gun has 64mm of pen, which in uh, interwar is pretty decent. It won't age particularly well, but hopefully by then we'll be quite mobile, something that we don't really have in our advantage right now. But we are fairly small and we are fairly light, so we do get a number of allies here. So hopefully we're going to do all right. I don't think it should be too bad. Now, we have started with the APHE loaded, which could have been a problem, but uh, luckily the game's uh, had mercy on us and it's selected the uh, Panzer Wagons as our enemy, which is, uh, yeah, definitely favourable for us when we have uh, kind of lowish penetration with the default shell, which all the AI will be using. Now, oh, that was quick. We've dealt with all the Panzer Wagons. We just have to worry about the anti tank over there, which is definitely definitely going to be able to go through the front of our armor pretty much anywhere so uh we'll try and use the bit of mobility we have here to uh flank it instead my allies are already opening up and here we go oh it's lost a track oh okay one of my allies just went through the front of it uh, not what I expected, but I'll take it. <laughs> okay, decorated with a nice new desert camouflage. I'm going to load up the AP here because... Uh, oh, there we go. <laughs> As you can see, my allies are going to all have the AP HE loaded. So uh, if I have a little bit more penetration, I can kind of act as the anti-tank of the force. I reckon that's going to be a useful thing for me to do. Maybe. <laughs> I hear a lot of bullets flying out, but I, uh, I don't see an opportunity to shoot anything yet, apart from, that is a, another... Wow! Um, okay, okay, we're here on Silent Border and we've seen a drastic improvement in our mobility and we've got invisible tracks again. Uh, however, you know, no real improvement in the gun. It's slightly longer and it works with modern ammo, so it's slightly better, but uh, the main thing here is we are now much, much more mobile. So hopefully we're going to be able to do what we did in the last evolution video and just kind of charge down the Allen here uh, without the anti-tank guns completely demolishing us because I don't think we're going to win in a sparring match versus them. So uh, I am just going to gun through this little, uh, huh, what do we say, a gauntlet here? <laughs> And hopefully, we can get out the other side relatively unscathed. There's the Allen. That's going to be the big problem here. Oh, no, the engine! That is the last thing that we wanted to have go. Uh, we, yeah, we don't have any time to put out that fire. We needed to get past. But uh, hopefully now, my allies are distracting the Allen enough that we can sneak around. And there goes one of the anti-tank guns. I'm getting shot in the back by my own teammates. That is definitely not good. Oh no, this is this is going pretty badly here. And some of my allies are all the way back before the hill at the start. Oh no, things have absolutely fallen apart here. We've only got three tanks left. One of them's stuck in a ditch. Okay, um, yeah, no, this isn't good. <laughs> <laughs> oh man. Okay, we're throwing caution to the wind. We're going down 
into the minefield here, and we're going to hug the edge so that we hopefully don't hit any of the mines, and I might just see if I can dislodge my ally here. We're probably going to blow up his fuel reserve, but that's fine. Uh, hopefully, yeah, they, they look like they're in a bit of a better spot now, so if we do lose this tank, at least that one is there for us. Now, the Allen is right right over this hill and we need to get close enough before it starts shooting at us and I, I cannot see at the moment okay there it is there it is we need to get close enough that by the time it sees us we can outturn their turret the anti-tank gun nearly took us out there that was a little bit closer than I would have liked but there we go Alan taken out and uh, yeah okay a, a Success! Uh, it was a little bit close, but it's a success. But how will it do here on Railroad? We've got 12 of these things. That is, uh, That might be the mission max, to be honest. But uh, yeah, this is an actual combat mission. Uh, we're not fighting to kind of just get over the border. We're fighting here to take out seven enemy tanks, and hopefully we will stand a pretty good chance here. So we've got mediocre penetration. It's not particularly special, but our fire rate is pretty pretty damn good to be entirely honest so uh hopefully here we can make up for the lackluster actual firepower in favor of just sheer quantity of fire and we're getting shot at from many different angles right now i'm surprised we've not been hit to be honest <laughs> my ai are doing so much work this video they've already got four kills to their name there's only three enemies left. Hopefully we can see a little bit of action at some point this video. I mean, last time I guess we, we did quite a lot on Silent Border, but uh, yeah, not a lot in the desert scenario. Hi, buddy. That's the side of a Man of War, and there we go. That is a very, very exploded Man of War, which leaves us now with just one enemy. And uh, they're probably stuck down here somewhere question obviously arises where um now i could just get exploded at any moment because they're normally like right here uh but i don't see that i see something over there that looks promising there we go oh man uh this is going unfathomably well actually and just as i open my big mouth it's time to fight the tiger so we've brought a couple of upgrades here once again bigger engine uh, not much bigger but obviously more modern uh, new transmission which should allow us to go even quicker in a straight line and a 57 millimeter gun and in that time that i was telling you about it one of my teammates has already died so hopefully we can get up there and help out a little bit now uh this transmission is slightly struggling we might have to make some more tweaks here because I'm I'm not hugely comfortable with where we're topping out. We're only topping out about 25. I'd like more like 35, you know? Yeah, this isn't enough, frankly. Yeah. Okay, even more upgrades. This time a significantly larger engine. Once again, no armor improvements. It is an armored car after all. Uh, however, we have got significant transmission improvements I'm thinking our suspension may be the root cause of this problem, though. We're doing a lot of bottoming out of the actual torsion bars, which is slowing us down quite significantly, but uh, maybe we can still get past this King Tiger here. It might not be completely fatal. Um, however, I think I'm going to have to strengthen those for fields because it's going to be a little bit more impactful there. Now, uh, this guy is not in a good situation. We've just got to get past him, and now we firmly hold the cards. Uh, I'm going to try and sneak around him. I just got hit by an ally, but there we go. King Tiger destroyed. Okay, so upgraded suspension and the same engine. We have four, maths, four, 54 tank rounds. 54 tank rounds, which should be theoretically be enough to kill everything on this map we've got 12 allies we hold i think a pretty good chance of doing quite well here so uh we're gonna try and get to that ravine where we can get a little bit of a side shot on the heavies later on pretty early and rely on our allies taking out the light tanks for the most part and it's only four light tanks that is that is unusually low there they are they're the M126s, they're not particularly strong, so it's odd that they only have four of them. Well, well, we stand in a pretty good spot to get some side shots here. 
If I just had a little bit more height. I'm used to being taller than this, so I was expecting to get some shots there, but uh, no such luck. We may need to help out our allies here, because these things actually have a little bit of armor on them. So, uh, okay, there we go. They're gone. They're gone. We've got to get a move on here. We're going downhill, so we should be extremely nippy, but uh, yeah, that's six heavy tanks, which will now have pretty clear line of sight. I can see them over there, aiming down at where I am now, but uh, yeah, I mean, look at us go. <laughs> Okay, it's the Panthers. Now, the Panthers are a bit of a blessing and a curse. They have a very good reload rate, and they are very accurate. However, they do have fairly weak side armor. So, in theory, this kind of a shot here could definitely be fatal. There, one of my allies has done the job for me. Uh, we're going to go... We're struggling at this kind of an angle, but yeah, there we go, through the side of the turret. I was confident that we could have pulled that off, and that's already three out of six dead, and the other three are kind of in an awkward spot, to be honest. They might be difficult to get, because as you can see, that guy is just kind of hiding behind that hill. What on earth? Uh, okay, that's not what I expected at all. Um, Panther down, I guess. <laughs> Hi, bud. Can we do the same to you? No, look. that This guy's got way more armor. No, okay, never mind. There we go. 33 mil. We've killed him. And the last one, is that him? Oh, yeah, it is. Uh, this is unbelievable. <laughs> okay, so no changes to the hull. However, significant changes in terms of the gun. We now have a 76 millimeter gun, but only about 150 millimeters of penetration, which is not good for this era at all. However, we have increased our horsepower by about 90. The downside being we actually have a smaller engine with higher RPMs rather than a bigger and potentially torquier engine. So we may have a better top speed, but we won't go up hills quite as easily, most likely. Now, you should not be aiming at me, good sir. I would like you to stop that and your friend too. Uh, now, interestingly, I think I actually had a track taken out, because the way that these work is the track is still there, it's just not visually, uh, it, you can't visually see it, so, uh, we did actually have a track out there, which is why we got killed, but we can still get some good work done here. We have two enemies down, whatever that is, I think that's a King Tiger, we need to get a schmoove on here, and the tank... Oh, the armoured car really didn't want to play ball. I know it's risky, but I thought we'd accelerate down that hill a lot quicker than we actually ended up doing. Bad, bad times. There's only two of us left. There's four enemies. So we need to really, really get up some pace here and get around these enemies. Now, he is going to get a shot on me here, and there's nothing I can do about it other than just keep moving and hope Oh, my engine of all things, my engine. Oh, why did it have to be? This is, ah, oh, this is dire straits here. Um, once again, we've got to close the distance. There's no way we're winning a sniping match against a King Tiger with only 150 millimeters of penetration. So into the forest we go at breakneck speeds. We're nearly cracking 45. My engine again! Why does it have to be the engine? Stop that. Stop that now, please. No. Oh, where even is he? Ah. Oh. Well, I think we can do this. I think we got really unlucky with how we were hit. If it had been an inch further backwards or an inch further up, then all of those shots, I think, would have missed us. We just got to get into a better spot earlier on. We let them get into a high position with very, very good oversight of where we were trying to cross the map. So if I get into this ravine first before they can get into those positions, we'll be in a much better spot. Now, there are already tanks with line of sight on me. We've just got to hope that they don't have enough time to do anything here. Now, there goes a King Tiger already, actually, to one of my allies. In fact, two of them. That's in unusual, indeed. Uh, let us see if we can do anything to help here. There's one of my allies down. That King Tiger is down. That AMX is still alive, but he has not noticed me. That leaves one enemy. It's gone a lot better this time. <laughs> and presumably they're over this away. And there they are. It's an AMX, so we have a pretty good chance of beating them here. 
And one last mission to go before we can call this the best armoured car that was ever made. Alright guys, so a little bit of an apology here. I don't know why, but I cannot get this vehicle to work on defence. It just won't move. Um, nothing I do will make this thing drive on defense. So we have a custom battle on the defense map. Um, <laughs> this could be a little bit of a challenge. So these are all uh, my tanks from old videos and my allies are gonna be completely stationary. Now, some of the enemies will be a little easier to kill than others. Um, regardless of what they are, most of them are a bit stronger than this thing. So uh, for instance, that over there is an oscillating MBT with I think a 105 millimeter gun and a lot Lot of mobility so it's gonna be pretty tough for us to actually pull this one out of the bag but that's what I get for breaking the game with this thing there goes a 212 we've got one of the 214s over there and his turret has launched into the stratosphere and there is another 212 that I would like to get dealt with but uh, they are hiding perfectly behind this hill here it does have a very low profile that thing uh, and hydraulics normally but uh, I the, the one for the AI doesn't have hydraulics because uh, well they can't use it uh, two enemies remain somehow we've done extremely well here um, so I'm honestly impressed uh, I feel like the AI didn't use the enemy tanks to their full advantages because there were definitely a few enemies in there that could uh, wipe these things out with very little difficulty at all. Where are the remaining enemy tanks? What on earth? Oh man, I just detonated and uh, there we go. Okay, we can move. Uh, I thought we were getting the same bug as we were having in the normal mission there. It's the tank destroyers from not long ago. I think, was it last video or the video before? I built that tank destroyer and they're the last enemies left. They've just wiped out my tank there and I have no idea where the shot came from. It's a very low profile that thing and I'm a little bit scared now. Oh, hello. I see the tippy top of a tank destroyer. There we go. Oh, uh, you are having the time of your life down there, aren't you? There we go. He's dealt with. And there is one more. Presumably the same design and maybe also stuck in a hole. Um, yeah, those things were deadly. <laughs> oh, they're so small. I see something a little bit unterrain like over here. That is an antenna if I've ever seen one. Hi buddy, you are the stealthiest little thing. It's taken me so long to find you, but there we go. Problem dealt with, uh, and I will just demonstrate what I mean by this thing. Woo, that was interesting. I'll demonstrate what I mean by this thing not working in defense, and uh, if it does work, then I guess I'll run it. <laughs> Okay, so here's uh, the exact same tank as we were loading in in the custom battle. And if I spawn in and hold W, you can see whereas in the normal cust well, in the custom battle, we were already going 30 miles an hour. Here we're just drifting as if we have absolutely no friction and we can't move at all. If I then go back to the main menu, spawn into Tiger, we go into the load menu, load up the ACV5, which is the same one that we were using just there. You can see it works completely fine so i i don't know what's happened uh, it's a really really weird bug and i cannot find a fix but uh yeah the yeah we technically beat the whole game uh kind of with a little bit of an asterisk on it but you know we would have beaten the whole game if it wasn't for the game breaking us but uh, anyway <laughs> If you've enjoyed this video, uh, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. I think this thing looks really, really nice. Uh, you can see just there a little bit of how I've managed to hide the idler and the sprocket on this one. But uh, yeah, if you've enjoyed this one, please leave a like, comment, and or subscribe. And I hope to see you in the future for more videos like this, where we design cool tanks to take on pretty much the entire game. Bye bye! And as always, a huge thanks to this channel's patrons Burn and Potato, Camdrum135, Cody N, DJ Pete, Skavoon, Gamata929, Sad Cat, Just Cast from T6 Turn 1, Last End 11, Mark, Mildly Invested, Nicholas K, Rolls with Bucken, Ryan Brody, Ryan Brody again, The Kinesian Emperor, Zerashime, and Zite Wolverine. Thank you so much for your support, and why are you there twice, Ryan Brody?